Fred McGuffin reviews. Knock at the Cabin in 2023. And brought to us by director, producer, writer, M. Night Diamelan. And yeah, you may know his work. He's brought us some hits and misses in his day, but always an interesting. He always gives us something interesting. And yeah, he's an auteur. He sort of, he likes to, he doesn't say, um, fall foul to the Hollywood sort of machine. He likes to do his own thing, make small, uh, small movies that he can, you know, have his say in all parts of the movie. And uh, he's not uh, bound down to big Hollywood studios. So yeah, you've Six Sense, Unbreakable, Signs, The Village, Lady in the Water, The Happening, Last Airbender, After Earth, The Visit, Split, Glass, Old, Servant, TV show, and Wayward Pines TV show. And yeah, he brings us a a movie based on the book by Paul Tremblay, The Cabin at the End of the World. And that says a lot more about, you know, this story. Because, yeah, this is an end of the end of the world movie. I'm going to spoil this, so this is a spoiler warning. Spoiler warning. There's a more guff spoiler um, review. So yeah, we have Dave Bautista. Um, he plays one of our people that arrive at the cabin, um, and the cabin. It, it, the people that are vacation in the cabin are Jonathan Groff and Ben Aldridge, who play Eric and Andrew. And they've got their, their daughter with them, Kristen Q, who plays Wen. Now, Jonathan Groff, you may have seen from The Matrix Resurrection, Resurrections, uh, Hamilton, Frozen 1 and 2, Mindhunter TV show, Blind Spotting, and American Sniper. And Ben Aldridge. You may have seen in uh, Spoiler Alert, Pennyworth, TV show, Fleabag, The Titan, and The Railway Man. So they're enjoying their vacation with their daughter, and four people arrive. And one of them is, they want to talk to them about uh, something that is happening, and they want them to make a, a tough choice. Uh, as I said, one of the people is David Bautista. Um, and we have Rupert Grint, Nikki Amuka Burrs, and Ebley Quinn. And Dave Bautista, you've seen in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, uh, the Dune remake, Army of the Dead, My Spy, Duber, Hotel Artemis, Blade Runner 2049, Spectre, Riddick, Escape Plan 2 and 3, Master Z, The Ip Man Legacy. So yeah, Dave Batista, he's a he looks like a tough dude, but he's a he's a great he's a great um, actor, and yeah, and um, he's got a very striking appearance, very tough looking. But in this, he plays a very sort of gentle, uh, timid teacher, and um, he does a very good job. Um, Rupert Grint, yeah. He's one of the, the people that arrive as well. He plays Redmond, and uh, you've seen him in the Harry Potter movies. He's also in Servant TV show, um, Cabinet of Curiosities, Snatch, uh, the ABC Murders, the uh, three TV shows there, and oh, sorry, four TV shows there, Wild Target, Cherry Bomb, and Thunderpants. So, yeah. He's uh, trying to break out of that Harry Potter mold and um, does a good job in this too. Um, Nikki Amuka Bird he plays Sabrina and she was in Jupiter Ascending, The Outfit, um, Old, Persuasion, um, and Citadel TV show, Inside Number 9, and Luther. And we have Abley Quinn, who plays Adriana, and she was in Landline, Waiting Girls, The Journey is the Destination, After the Wedding, and Little Women. 
So yeah, we have our four um, callers to the house and uh, they want to talk to Eric and Andrew and they don't seem like they're, they're violent. They, um, you know, they knock on the door, they want to talk to the people in there. But Wen warns them and yeah, when they can't get in, they, they, they um, break in, they force their way in and tell, and once they do get in, they tell Eric and Andrew why they're there. And it's, it's because they want them to make a decision, a choice, and that will save uh, the world from an apocalypse, an appending apocalypse apocalypse that's on the way so yeah this is an end of the world movie and if you like those sort of movies yeah it's it's enjoyable i i mean i like those type of movies um there's every every uh it's like these four people have had this vision that um maybe i suppose god has given to them or whoever and they've had visions of what's going to happen they are convinced that what they're doing is right and they need to convince Eric and Andrew that uh, they need to make this choice. And if they don't make this choice, um, they have four chances to do it before the apocalypse. And if they don't make the choice that they need to make, um, a certain percentage of the Earth's population um, is killed by plague or disaster so yeah it's uh very clever um it's it's it feels like a stage play it's a very intimate small sort of movie um we see snippets on the tv about what's happening in the real world when um eric and andrew don't make the choices they need to make and yeah it's it feels very tense and yeah, you're, you never know what, what way this is going to turn out till the end. Um, we get some great performances here um, from all the cast. And that's one thing about M. Knight. He knows how to choose his actors. And yeah, as I said, it's um, you don't get much end of the world scenes. We only get snippets on the TV. So if you're expecting... That sort of thing, like uh, 2012, that movie, or, you know, you're not getting that. But what you're getting is these people trying to deal with this situation. And our four uh, people trying to convince Eric and Andrew that, you know, they need to do this. This is, um... so, yeah, um, Eric and Andrew course are confused and bewildered and taken aback by what's what's happening do they believe these people or don't they try to or do they need to escape and um just get out of there and just let whatever madness these people are talking about happen happen because the choice they have to make is pretty daunting and yes yeah, just yeah it's a real tough choice they have to make and um yeah look i i, I like m night shy element stuff um he's always interesting i mean when he's good he's good uh i mean he goes for it. he tries to give us something new something interesting and yeah i mean i, I really liked unbreakable and split and the sixth sense and like the village um yeah, he always, you know, he's a real he's a real maverick. He just goes for what he wants and um, does what he likes. And if you're not with it, you're not with it. But um, I did find this enjoyable. I'd give this a three out of five, but it's nearly a four. I mean, it's a point, like, nearly four for me. I don't know if there's a high rewatch factor on this for me once you know the plot of this and what you know how it turns out but with the what with the one watch i had of this i was glued to my seat and i think you will be too and 
yeah knock at the cabin check it out bread mug of him reviewed knock at the cabin